Wayman's threatened by homeless would-be mugger wishes hero vigilante gunman didn't fire weapon. I was terrified. Yeah, this is another one of those cases where, help, 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 and then you help. Not like that. I don't want you to help me that way. I wanted you to help me this other way. So you know what's going to happen now? I, I bet within a few weeks, we're going to see a story of, of some woman being assaulted on the subway and everyone just watched. And then you're going to have all of these armchair, uh, these armchair good Samaritans. Why didn't anyone do anything? Oh my God, where have we come as a society where everyone just stands around and does nothing as a whammons gets assaulted? And then you're going to have a few white knights in, in, uh, over in the crowd. Like, yeah, I would have helped, but I remember what happened to the last guy who helped. A whammons who was threatened by a homeless would-be mugger considers subway vigilante John Rote a hero, but wishes he tried to help without firing a gun in the station. <laughs> yeah, that guy learned his lesson. He's being slapped with more criminal charges than the mugger, isn't he? You know, speaking to the compost over the phone Friday, the 40-year-old whammons who did not want to be identified. Yeah, so, so identify the guy, ruin his life, but uh, oh yeah, you don't want to be identified, yeah. We called the pure terror she felt during Tuesday's ordeal on the shitty subway system she believes has become increasingly unsafe for riders. Yeah, because of people like you. Every time someone tries to make it safe, you cry and ruin it. I, I, at this point, just reap what you've sown. The one reason for the sketchy conditions on the ground, she says, lack of serious punishment for repeat offenders such as the man tried to rob her uh, who hang out at subway stations. The Whammons nightmare scenario unfolded while trying to head back to her queen's home. She encountered Matthew Roche, a homeless 49-year-old who was allegedly harassing her for money after he held the emergency gate open on 49th Street Station near Times Square. When she tried to walk through, he blocked her way and demanded money, according to court documents. And some guy uh, foolishly helped her and uh, got rewarded for that help by uh, you know, getting arrested and criminally charged. That's how you treat your heroes, right? I said, I'm not going to give him any money and kept walking. He followed me, kept demanding money. And, uh, and he said, if you don't give me money, I'm going to take your bag. And I was trying to walk away from him. But he was following me and getting very close. Roche, who was known to police for frequently pulling the scheme, allegedly made uh, moves to snatch her bag when Roche 43 whipped out a firearm and allegedly fired several rounds across the subway while warning the would-be mugger to leave the Waymans alone. And yeah, no, no, to be fair... How does the saying go? Warning shots are for movies. You you should never fire a warning shot. Like, never. Uh, of course, I'm happy the man tried to help me and that nobody was injured in the incident, but it's scary to think that people are carrying guns around the shitty. And there you go. You, you're, you're complaining that everything is less safe. And then, oh, but but everything we would do to make it safe makes me scared. So, so uh, I don't want to do it. I understand why people do it. I see this as their only means of protection, the women said. Yeah, look, the only reason she can talk shit like this is because someone else used his gun to protect her. Next time this happens, I hope nobody protects her. Let her protect herself. I wrote was seen a surveillance footage, uh, casually pulling the handgun from his bag and aiming at the scuffle before shouting, get the, f get the fuck away from her. What's it feel like, man? Being a white knight is great in current year, huh? No, it all happened within seconds. Didn't phase the homeless man. He continued to say, uh, give me money, give me money, the whammon said. That's when Roche allegedly shot the second time and continued yelling at Roche uh, to get away from his victim. Roche finally stalled, giving the whammons a chance to run away. As uh, about 40 others in the station scattered, uh, she found a safety inside an MTA maintenance room uh, after a worker opened the door to check out the chaos. He pushed a large mail cabinet against the door, preventing the gunman or the would-be mugger from following them inside. I was terrified. I was feeling fear and panic. I was ready for anything to fight for my life in any way. Yeah, sure. Sure, you totally would have fought, just like you did against the mugger. The gun, the gun was pointed in my direction, and that's all I saw. It was a feeling of pure terror I don't wish on anyone. How do people like this function in society? But that, that's what I'd like to know. Uh, Roche was arrested after police arrived within minutes. Wow, that's a pretty quick turnaround time, actually. Too bad that they, they, they're minutes away when seconds matter. 
and was charged with attempted robbery, but Roach was able to flee before he could be cuffed. Roach, who has no prior arrests, was arrested at his Manhattan job the following day after an anonymous tipster recognized him from the police leaked footage. He allegedly admitted to the shooting and told cops he ditched the gun in the East River. What a fucking dumbass, man. All, all he had to do was, was just mind his own business and keep walking. And he still would have no prior criminal record. He still would be at his job. Now, he was charged with criminal possession of a weapon, criminal possession of a firearm, reckless endangerment, and menacing. Yeah, you see that? The, the actual criminal only got charged with attempted robbery. The white knight... Criminal possession of a weapon, criminal possession of a firearm, reckless endangerment, and menacing. They threw the book at the, the white knight. The, the, the criminal just got a slap on the wrist, though. They're sending you a message here. The law enforcement sources say they don't think Roach was aiming at the vagrant and was just trying to scare him off. Yeah, you ne never fire a warning shot. Although the Wayman said she would like to thank Roach for interviewing, she said she wishes he left the weapon out of it. I, I wonder how he feels about that now. Do you think he even wants to ever see that bitch again? In this case, the man risked a lot to protect me, his safety, and the safety of the people on the platform. Yes, I think he's a hero, but I don't know. I'd like to think him a bigger hero if he tried to help me without the gun. In my eyes, the gun's a little extreme. Uh, it was a very dangerous situation. Anything could have happened. Yeah. So, so what? What if he jumped in and started wrestling with the robber, and he ended up getting knifed to death? Would, would that have been better for you, princess? Is that what you'd prefer? Now, the Waymans also slammed the MP, uh, MTA and NYPD, accusing them of doing little to prevent such chaos inside the subways. Well, people like you keep crying every time they try. She said the incident was second of two insane encounters with homeless people at the 49th Street platform in just one day. Her morning started with another man openly masturbating on a bench without shame. That set the tone for the day. Now, that guy is a true hero right there. The MTA and NYPD weren't doing much to protect the public, but it's very dangerous. Uh, there's many incidents where weapons are involved and it ended badly. Honestly, I'm against people carrying weapons uh, with them around the city. And, and so she's against law-abiding citizens having weapons, and then she's going to cry that she's unsafe. Okay, you well, Joker had it right, man. You get what you deserve. Yeah, she would have obviously called out the robbery, saying the robber using the knife to murder and bleed him out was a little too much. Yeah, that's right. Now, the MTA increased fares, but nothing changed. Two incidents in one day. They let these people do whatever they want. Incidents entirely the fault of the MTA and NYPD. They need to increase rider safety. Now, no, this is the entirely the fault of the government. And by extension, you fucking idiots who vote for them. That's who's at fault. The MTA and NYPD have their hands tied behind their back by the incompetent piece of shit government. They can't do anything as long as idiots like you keep voting in idiots into the government. You are the problem. This is your fault. Now, the Wayman's added there should be strong appointments for repeat offenders. Okay, so uh, do the cops and the MTA have the ability to do this? You, you realize the cops don't get to determine what the punishment is. That's the government that does that. All the cops do is arrest people. Like They, they maintain the law that's made and written by the fucking government. So, such as Roche has been repeatedly arrested for uh, hand collecting and selling Metro cards on subways. Yeah, don't blame the police for this. It's the fucking government's fault. Blame the idiots you vote for. Now, the homeless people are allowed to do what they want without punishment. Yeah, are you going to blame the cops for that? The same cops that want to do something, but the fucking government is preventing them? So they let that guy go. They, that sends a message. They could do what they want and get away with it. Yeah. Maybe if you vote correctly, this could be fixed. He's going to continue to do this again and again. I rarely see patrols on the subway. They only start patrolling after something happens somewhere. They should be there every day. Make sure riders are safe. Oh, but so so you, you were just crying about too many people with guns. So what your solution is government agents with guns all over the place. That'll make you feel safe. I, right. you get what you deserve. No sympathy whatsoever.
And, and this this woman is a a pretty strong representation of most people that live in these major cities nowadays. So you know, you made your bed, now lie in it. Like I'm I'm not going to shed a single a single tear for you people ever again. I'm done. So many of these problems are self-inflicted. <laughs>